දැන් අපි කතා කරන්න යන්නේ milk ගැන. Importance of milk. Milk is a wholesome food, useful source of energy, protein and many micronutrients. Natural food of the newborn. Man had introduced milk of other mammals to his diet. The composition of milk vary among different mammals. Ether me thamai composition of milk on a pie chart, vadim thi enni vatura. But it also has lactose, the primary carbohydrate, fat, protein and some other minerals tika. The megar kiyanne oil in water. Ether kota eking adhas karanne it's almost like a an emulsification or a suspension. Now water ek water thamai eki lokum component eki pase protein thiyena colloid form eki disperse vela. It was a carbohydrates kar ke wage lactose, fat, minerals, vitamins thiyena fat soluble and water soluble and other organic compounds. Carbohydrates in milk. Lactose is the primary carbohydrate. It is synthesized in the mammary gland. Trace amounts of monosaccharides and oligosaccharides are present. Eki ane glucose and galactose uth podi amounts wala milk wala thiyena. Lactose maintains the osmotic pressure of milk. It is less water soluble and does not absorb water unnecessarily. Osmotically less active than sucrose, less sweet than sucrose. Lactic lactic acid producing bacteria acts on lactose and produces an acidic environment. Uh etagota now api danno then um own sugar ek thiyena osmotic pressure ekak. So in the mammary glands may osmotic may lactose within osmotic pressure eking it can absorb water from the surrounding interstitial tissue to produce the uh, water content of the breast milk then lactic acid methana kiyana wage then lactose ege ferment wenna lactic acid and it provides the acidic environment and acidic medium meke thamai absorption of copper phosphorus sorry calcium phosphorus copper and iron enhance wenna acidic medium meke e wage ma inhibits the growth of putrefactive bacteria uh, spoil milk ege spoil wenna thi wenna e gullan මේ acidity එක බලපානවා lipids in milk triacylglycerols with it we have oleic acid and palmitic acid diacylglycerol and monoacylglycerol free fatty acids phospholipids cholesterol then human milk has more cholesterol than cow's milk lipids are present in droplets importance of lipids in milk considerable amount of calories for daily requirement milk is a source of essential fatty acids more linoleic acid and linolenic acid in human milk than cow's milk essential for the synthesis of arachidonic acid icosapentaenoic acid and docosahexaenoic acid eto kota then essential fatty acid source kata milk godak wedagath wenawa eto kota human uh, human milk wala thamai wadiyema thiyenne then more linoleic and linolenic acid in human milk than in cow's milk ऐसे कोटे दें काउस मिल्क को लती है ना बट बालाद ही ह्यूमन मिल्क हैज अ रिचर कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ एसेंशियल फैटी एसिड्स इधर आप ही दें कथा करना मैं इस क्या ने कथा करना दें एसेंशियल फैटी एसिड्स तमाय आवश्य है ने टू प्रोड्यूस आपे में आर्किडोनिक एसिड व्हिच इज अ प्रीकर्स ऑफ प्रोस्टोग्लैंडिन्� trans fatty acid in milk so that this prevents non communicable diseases proteins in milk albumins serum albumins alpha beta lactalbumins globulins immune proteins iga igg igm caseins a phosphoprotein of high biological value easily digested and its heat resistance it got api ta thiyena me in podi baba lage nathan infants lage thiyena Uh, a specific enzyme stomach ke ke that can digest these caseins right eto kota milk enzymes with it you know may lipase amylase protease catalase acid phosphatase eto me enzymes tika milk kula apita hambena coagulations of the caseins uh, drag phosphorus and calcium then uh, casein uh, casein kena protein ne ke it was caseinogen एंजाइम मेकिंग में कराने एक एक क्वाइगुलेट कर ले इधर पर से फास्फोरस एंड कैल्शियम में का एक एक डे बांधो बगाना इन ह्यूमन मिल्क इट हैज 60 परसेंट वे प्रोटीन एंड 40 परसेंट केसीन काउस मिल काउस मिल्क वाला वे प्रोटीन 20 परसेंट केसीन सी ये डा असुवाक एंड वे प्रोटीन इज डाइजेस्टेड क्विकर देन केसीन इ बॉडी बिल्डर्स लगाने सप्लीमेंट्स हादाने वे प्रोटीन वाला बिकॉज़ इट इज़ इज़ीली डाइजेस्टेबल 
ඒතකොට රෙගුලන්ට ඉක්මනට මේ ප්‍රෝටීන් සෝස් එකක් විදියට ඒ නිසා තමයි මේ වේ ප්‍රෝටීන් පාවිච්චි කරන්නේ minerals in milk more minerals in cow's milk than human milk calcium and phosphorus ionic form are held within the micelles of casein then are calling you again in the coagulation of casein protein pulls phosphorus and calcium etukota uh, less in human milk calcium and phosphorus human milk wala etchara na etukota cow's milk is a rich source of calcium etukota samarala ta ata me or patient kene kene case ek tibbot me that um, someone is someone has is low in calcium and that's why calcium is made in diet so you can recommend it to the cow's milk cow's milk iron uh, is very little there's very little content of iron in cow's milk and the absorption is more in human milk than cow's milk either of human breast milk hundai iron wali ek absorption ek wedi nisa so it's good eking kiyanne me heme iron wedi than cow's milk other minerals manganese cobalt copper iodine and fluoride it got a mewa me mewa wala amounts when mena venas no according to the maternal diet then the other question if the cow does not eat min me minerals it got a age levels ekko venas wenna pula zinc is present in human colostrum abi isara hamuna me colostrum kiyanne it is a type of milk that is secreted in the stages of breast milk ejection it got a isara balmu mukad colostrum kiyala it got human colostrum wala zinc hondara thiyena Minerals in excess is increased is excreted via the kidneys but infants have immature kidneys low mineral content in human milk is favorable for infants a etukota then cow's milk wala hondata minerals thiyenna human milk wala minerals nathi wenna ekata heetuwak thiyena then human milk wala minerals adu wenna thamai kidneys underdeveloped wala thiyen nisa egulanta ara minerals tika filter karanna bari wenawa etukota e nisa thamai human milk wala minerals tika adu Uh, vitamins in milk affected by maternal intake good source of vitamin b complexes vitamin b12 thiamine riboflavin vitamin a is present in whole milk fortification improves vitamin d fortification kiyala kiyanne moga kari dairy product ekata api vitamin d add karana eka it is low in vitamin c e and k availability of vitamins change with milk processing fat soluble vitamins less in skimmed milk skim milk ekak yanne me you um uh, uh, milk ek sterilize karaddi eke athi wena uda thiyena skimmed fat la eka ayin karana eka eka thama kiyanne skimmed milk kiyala den api disarada hambira menna me meke pasteurized or pasteurization the purpose is to increase the safety by destroying pathogenic organisms increase the keeping quality of milk product method milk is heated to the appropriate temperature and held at that temperature for the appropriate time and cooled the make it it's not 100 degree celsius ekena milk ek boil karanna but it wada adu temperature ekaga for example 70 degree celsius waladi dirga kale inama allang inna etukota me eke e method ekak e principle ekin thama e gollan eka milk ekak disinfect karanna the efficiency is assessed by the alp activity uh etukota kept on less than 10 degrees until used vitamin c reduced by 50% thiamine and vitamin b12 levels reduced by 10% apit kaling hambuna various methods of milk processing can reduce the vitamin content it got vitamin c thamai vadiyam madu wenne because vitamin c is heat labile nathan heat ekata eka damage wala eka inactivate wenawa then ultra heated temperature uht pasteurization may alter alter the macronutrient content as well homogenization uh, breaking up the oil droplets in milk reduce the size of large globules to less than 1 micrometer create a uniform distribution of globules throughout the serum phase minimizing creaming fortification process of increasing the content of nutrients almost all the milk products are fortified with vitamin d skim milk has reduced fat soluble vitamins therefore fortified with vitamin a addition of omega 3 fatty acids fermented milk milk is boiled and cooled inoculation of selected bacteria fermented for 24 hours to 72 hours ph is reduced with acid production casein precipitate when the milk is acidified etukota acidic medium ekey di casein protein ekak precipitate wenna ekak thamai wenne etukota adar ithuru wena water ekak water ekey thamai thiyenne lactose ekak etukota e tika ayin wenna etukota me fermented milk ekin ganne casein ekin precipitate wechi මේක එතකොට ඒක තමයි යූස් කරන්නේ for the production of curd and cheese 
Now, curd can be fermented milk product. It's rich in B vitamins and it's bioavailability of calcium. Good luck, ready. Yogurt. Yogurt can be fermented milk product. It's a lactobacillus species bacteria. It's it facilitates the formation of lactic acid. It's got a lactic acid at the pH ega adu karunwa, it's got pH ega adu karunwa ma, eka protein ega coagulate venuwa. And then precipitate venuwa. Exactly like this, casein precipitate where the milk is acidified. So likewise, uh, lactobacillus species again lact lactic acid produce karunwa ma, pH ega drop karunwa ma, casein ega precipitate karunwa. Probiotic cultures can be added. Cheese, milk curd from which most of the water is removed. Concentrated protein food. Saturated fat which has added salt. It got a cheese with you know saturated fats. Any such saturated fat is not the good kind of fat. Low in water soluble vitamins. Butter. It is a milk product with high fat and added salt and flavors. It give water content a good adui. It could adangu fats tikatamai, tri acyglycerols, phospholipids, and fat soluble vitamins. Margarine, kilakiyanne, milk fat mixed with freely available fats. If there are milk cooling extract in a fat ticketer, api vinna fats mix karna. For example, vegetable fat or sunflower. Ewa ge deval api extract karla. Ewa milk fat ticketer mix karla thamai api margarine produce karna. Ghee. It is oil decanted after heating butter. Ito kota api butter heat kar po ama eking api tel tambino ne oil pramana keking naturally excrete ne oil tika ito kora ek aing kar po ama thamai apne hamme ne ghee water and non sol non fat solids are removed residual deposit as sediment it is rich in vitamin A and increases the energy value without increasing the bulk buffalo milk is used more than cow's milk ito ghee produced when ne mainly from buffalo milk than cow's milk ghee used when a good luck Indian camel thadan ne breast milk most superior feeding for human infants. It contains all the essential nutrients. Then you have to call lecture that milk and breast milk and then you have to put So the composition changes. The monkey one at various stages of the feeding of the breast milk. Then you have to put it in the middle. So with the duration of the breastfeeding, the composition is in the According to the requirement, you have to cholesterol. Transition milk and mature milk kila varga tuna kambuna. Eva gamer for milk saha hind milk hambuna. Eva gamer milk for preterm babies and term babies kila venasvena. So the composition of milk is dynamic. Eka feeding period deka eka krama kraming venasvena. Now human breast milk, aka oligosaccharides, you know, proteins, fats, and lactose, you know. Then, in infant formula milk, it contains protein, fats, and lactose, but it does not contain oligosaccharides. Cow's milk will lactose, protein, and fats. If cow's milk will be known, protein content is good for infant formula milk. It's got an energy amount of 60 to 70 kilocalories per 100 milliliters of milk, similar to cow's milk. Carbohydrates. Cows will a, cow's milk will a, a 0.1% carbohydrates. Have a human milk will a 1.2% carbohydrates. So, the carbohydrate content of cow's milk will be added. 68 to 70 grams per liter. So, the 40% of the energy is produced by uh, the carbohydrates in milk. The principal milk sugar is lactose. And lactose has a disaccharide, a sugar, glucose and galactose. Oligosaccharides are 10 to 15 grams per liter. Human milk oligosaccharides are saccharide polymers. It is a GI tract. It is a human gastrointestinal tract. It is a digest. It is a cow's milk. It is a pie chart. It is a cow's milk. It is a cow's milk. But more than 130 types are present in human milk. Then, oligosaccharides are not the same. It serves a function. The monode function. They are a defensive barrier against gut pathogens. Munari leda hai bacteria gut take thi rona yeking defense akri thi na me oligosaccharides zara karna. Enhance the immunity. Immune system ekhi function ekhi vedi karna. Maintains the gut microbes. Healthy gut flora boosts the immune system. Boosts neuronal and brain development. Nitrogen containing compounds. 
ඒකේ ප්‍රෝටීන්ස් උත් තියෙනවා සහ non protein nitrogen containing compounds උදාහරණයක් වශයෙන් urea creatinine nucleotides and dna proteins වෙනස් වෙන්නේ නැහැ අම්මගේ කන ඩයට් එක අනුව එතකොට අම්ම ප්‍රෝටීන් අඩුවෙන් කෑවත් වැඩියෙන් කෑවත් ප්‍රෝටීන් කන්ටෙන්ට් ඉන් බ්‍රෙස්ට් මිල්ක් සාමාන්‍යයෙන් කන්ස්ටන්ට් එතකොට ඒක අපිට හම්බ වෙනවා 8 to 10 grams per liter 10% of the energy of milk is derived from proteins එතකොට 40% of energy is from carbohydrates in the milk 10% of energy is from proteins high bioavailability ඒ කියන්නේ bioavailability කියන්නේ ඒක absorb කරන්න පුළුවන් ලේසි ඒ කියන්නේ proteins තියෙනවා ඒ වගේම high bioavailability නිසා ඒක absorb කරන්නත් ලේසි so lactoglobulins enzymes hormones binding proteins and all essential amino acids are present in human breast milk human milk has more whey protein than casein api udara gihama api de balanna puluwa menna me diagram ekhe menna me values tikeng eke carb eke me protein pramane menna metena In human milk whey protein is 60% to 40% and in cow's milk whey protein is 20% to casein ne ki 80% the whey protein is digested quicker than casein right it is easy to digest and gastric emptying happens more quickly but the frequent feeds any sa thamai me nitharama best breastfeed karan none for infants proteins in cow's milk 3 to 3.5 grams to 100 per 100 ml in human milk 0.9 grams or less than 100 ml or less namuth ek bioavailability bioavailability ke wedi nisa ek godak infants lata hondai lipids 30 to 50 grams per liter vary with the feed ek yane mother mother ki diet ek anwa lipid content ek milk wala wenas wenne puluwa 50% of the energy is derived from lipids. It's got a lipids willing the iron of 50% of total energy. 9 kilocalories per gram. Essential fatty acids 6 to 10 times more in um ah uh, 6 to 10 times less in cow's milk. It's got a can human breast milk mela eat wada godak wedi. Then uding uridi tapi katha kara linoleic and alpha linoleic acid willing it was essential fatty acids and ever willing arachidonic acid. EPA and DHA had in godak avashya vena precursors rich in long chain polyunsaturated fatty acids and derivatives which is important for brain and vision development uh, next is triglycerol c at anu watak tags phospholipids are important for retinal and neural development cholesterol is more in human milk than in cow's milk medium chain fatty acids and long chain fatty acids there are breast milk quality no minerals vitamin a is important for retinal development vitamin c higher in human milk than cow's milk either vitamin c vadi human milk wala vitamin d depends on the diet and the sun exposure it's got a amma ge diet ek anuwa wenas wenawa vitamin d pramanaya vitamin b complex also depends on the diet example for uh, this is vitamin b12 is cobalamin either eka wenas wenawa depending on the diet of the mother deficient in vitamin k ඒනිස තමයි the moment that children are born ඒගොල්ලන්ට vitamin k injection එක ඉස්සලම දෙන්නේ so the vitamin k injections are given soon after childbirth non nutritional compounds antimicrobial immunoglobulins lysozymes then making කියන්නේ then uh, now baba uh, infant කෙනෙක්ට නෑ එයාගේ specific immunity එකක් ඒ කියන්නේ එයාම antibodies හදලා එයාට තාම antibodies නෑ නමුත් අම්මගේ කිරි වලින් එයාට එක එක ඩිෆරන්ට් ඩිෆරන්ට් ඉමියුනෝග්ලොබියුලින්ස් ඇන්ඩ් ලයිසොසයිම්ස් ඇන්ඩ් එක එක කම්පවුන්ඩ්ස් හම්බෙන නිසා එයාට අම්මගේම ඉමියුනිටි එක තියෙනවා බබාට බිකොස් ඔෆ් ද ට්‍රාන්ස්ෆර් ඔෆ් ඉමියුනෝග්ලොබියුලින්ස් ටු ද චයිල්ඩ් බයි බ්‍රෙස්ට් මිල්ක් එතකොට ඒව තමයි ලැක්ටෝෆරින් බයින්ඩ්ස් එෆ්ඊ ඇන්ඩ් ඉනිබිට්ස් ද ග්‍රෝත් ඔෆ් පැතජන්ස් බිෆිඩෝබැසිලයි ලැක්ටෝබැසිලයි ප්‍රොමෝට් ඩෙවලොප්මන්ට් ඔෆ් අ හෙල්ති ගට් ෆ්ලෝරා විච් ප්‍රිවෙන්ට්ස් හාම්ෆුල් පැතජන් ඇන්ඩ් ෆංගි අවුට් ග්‍රෝත් එතකොට ඇන්ටි ඉන්ෆ්ලැමටරි ඒක හෝමෝන්ස් තියෙනවා ACTH ඒතර PHT insulin වගේ. එතකොට growth factors, digestive enzymes such as amylase and lipase and it contains transporters. දැන් අපි එනවා different stages of lactation වලට. කොලෙස්ටරෝම් එක කොලෙස්ටරෝම් එක තමයි first few days of lactation. ඒ කියන්නේ deliver කරපු ගමම්ම first stage of lactation නැත්තම් හැදෙන පළවෙනි කිරි ටික තමයි කියන්නේ කොලෙස්ටරෝම් කියලා. එතකොට it is a thick yellow fluid and ඒකේ volume එක අඩුයි. 
ගොඩක් වොලියම් එක වැඩි වෙන්නේ නැහැ it is high protein and provides the proteins which cannot be produced inside the infant body and it's needed for survival ඒ නිසා කොලෙස්ටරෝම් එක ගොඩක් වැදගත් ඒකේ ප්‍රෝටීන් වැඩි නිසා බබාගේ මේ ඇඟේ ඇතුළු ප්‍රොඩියුස් කරන්න බැරි ප්‍රෝටීන්ස් ටික ඇති කරනවා මෙන්න මේ කොලෙස්ටරෝම් එකෙන් it is low in fat and lactose and it is easy to digest දැන් ඒකේ immune factors තියෙනවා growth factors තියෙනවා and antimicrobials තියෙනවා sodium chloride and magnesium with adrenal it got vitamin a with cholesterol wala at you know now transition milk uh, is produced during the establishment of lactation then palavini dawas tika gihama cholesterol ibunata passe you know transition milk it got aching 3 to 10 days widara thama enne it got ge sodium potassium ratio ek adu wenawa ekenne sodium pramane adu wenawa potassium pramane wadi wenawa increase in lactose content supports nutritional development needs i it was about the mature milk 10 days after that i will have the mature milk it is very rich in energy and a variation like when us we know fat content ka no contains immune factors and non nutritional components supply energy requirement for milk in hind milk for milk kil kiyanne uh, ek more watery more sugars less proteins and fat and the thirst is fulfilled hind milk ki kinta mai denne thick and white less sugars rich in fat and calories tava eke more energy deno eda kora form milk tama inne den api gamu den feeding period eke den api eka feeding period ek gattama when the baby when the mother starts feeding the baby ekane amma me breastfeed karanna patan ganna kota tama api den inne me form milk eka eda kora eka tama me features tika thiyenne den විනාඩි 15ක් විතර ෆීඩ් කරන ගමම්ම නැත් ඒ ඒ රෆ් වැලියු එකක් ඒ කියන්නේ ටිකක් වෙලා ගියාම අපිට ඊට පස්සේ තමයි හම්බ වෙන්නේ හයින් මිල්ක් එක. ඒතර ඒකේ තමයි මේ ෆීචර්ස් ටික තියෙන්නේ. නව මිල්ක් ෆෝ ප්‍රී ටර්ම් බේබිස්. මිල්ක් ෆෝ ප්‍රී ටර්ම් බේබිස් විතර ඉට් හැස් අ හයි කලෝරික් මේ ප්‍රී ටර්ම් බේබිස් ලද හයි කලෝරික් රිකවයිමන්ට් එකක් තියෙනවා. They have a high, they need a high protein content and a low lactose content and need high micronutrients such as iron, sodium, vitamin A and vitamin E. now breast milk versus formula milk make a someone in godak debate a topic ekak uh, all the components in breast milk cannot be duplicated then breast milk will have immunoglobulins and lactoferrins and all these components apita ewa produce karanna ba artificially and put into formula milk enisa breast milk is far superior to formula milk e vidiyata ekak baba ta immunate immunity ekak saha growth development ekak denna breast milk godak wedaga because breast milk will have uh antimicrobial immunoglobulins and growth factors and hormones formula milk will have done better carbohydrates we have a high amount of lactose in breast milk which facilitates the brain development protein content is very high and it has a protein content ki high biological value we got you know it's less than cow's milk but a biological value ki wedding is a ek infants lata godak die karna mineral absorption is less with formula milk order stool in Uh, meat fish and eggs then food origin they can meat fish and eggs abhi hum bhi sath dunge so it's of animal or animal origin it got to then um, then we were serving sizes eight ka bala gana right cook fish poultry if meat is 30 grams cook pasta is 3 tablespoons eggs one one egg is one serving dried fish is 15 grams it got a one serving of cooked fish is 30 grams it got ekin tamai me adhas wenne meat Uh, meat kill can the muscles and organs of animals uh, is consumed as meat they are slaughtered then satu marana or slaughtering animals for meat tenderization kill can a processing method there uh, meat take tendon uh, meat take muscle take soft kar la ek me lacing chew karan thame tenderization process ek karanne then meat is mainly slaughtered aerobic oxidation stops edagota atp ek deplete wena because me edara anaerobic glycolysis Uh, production of lactic acid and marked drop in ph uh, stiffness in the muscle is due to the cross linkage formation between actin myosin filaments and collagen fibers uh, should be damaged later the stiffness is reduced and muscle becomes softened because the water binding capacity increases in acidic ph the proteolytic enzymes released by lysozymes soften the muscles it occurs that aerobic glycolysis never to name ඒක ඊට පස්සේ anaerobic glycolysis වෙනවා so lactic acids get produced the ph reduces එතකොට ph එක අඩු වුණාම 
the acidic pH causes the proteolytic enzymes to be released from the lysozymes and this leads to softening of the muscles. Men make a natural tenderization of meat. Then techniques of breaking down collagen in meat is to make it more palatable. Tava lacing a kandapulong saiga rasakarana hetwa. Accelerated by additional addition of proteolytic enzymes to meat, preferably endopeptidases. Facilitate the softening of connective tissue and the fibers. Then meat gets a meat podiveno when you cook it. And egg hate with a mind because the protein and the collagen denature. It was denature, it was a conformational change. Never they were reorganized when it was a podi size. Red meat is due to myoglobin. The myoglobin is a ratu part of the White meat is a myoglobin. Any side is light colored meat. Red meat is high in saturated fat and low in polyunsaturated fat. White meat is very low in saturated fat and higher in polyunsaturated fats. If you are making a then saturated fats are bad for your health. Polyunsaturated fatty acids are good for your health. If you are white meat, you are better than white meat. Yes, red meat will have some benefits to you know, white meat. Will have some benefits to you know, red and white meat do not. Both are a good source of protein and they provide a decent range of vitamins. Red meat provides more significant range of white minerals such as iron, phosphorus, zinc and selenium and it is a much bigger source of B12. Again, vitamin B12 and its food groups will be pulses. Rice, gattama, meat is a very good source of B12. Why the color change from red to brown when cooking? The structure of the myoglobin is converted to methemoglobin. Now meat is composed of fat, uh, water, fatty acids, proteins, vitamins, minerals and other bioactive molecules. Then uh, protein is very high biological value, 0.75%. They can go dark thin protein to use can pull on. And meat protein is rich in lysine and methionine. It is deficient in cysteine. The nutritive value does not change with the processing. Again, if you meat process protein content. The fat percentage in meat is what determines the energy content because the fat taken in my value of energy is about then. The large quantities of fat may delay the gastric emptying and slow down digestion. It's a good deal. The value never again you feel fuller if you eat meat because it is a gastric emptying. I do not Vitamins and minerals rich in iron and phosphorus. Important source in niacin, riboflavin, vitamin B12 and thiamine. It is poor in calcium, vitamin A and vitamin C. It increases the appetite, stimulates the secretion of gastric juice. It is high purine content. It may cause hyperuricemia. And dietary purines degrade dona make urate hadano. It was urate taka hyper uric acid tamay urate kila kyan ni. It got a dietary purines are thiano ni me hypoxanthin, xanthin vela, xanthin oxidase enzyme making. It was a uric acid baar patena. Uric acid good luck value na ma accumulate when a patangata ma gout. So renal manifestations in a patangana. Lean meat idir gata ma skinless chicken. They contain a low fat content and they're a good source of protein with low caloric content. Then fish gila gata ma gata ma protein sauce gak. Fish farga ki pet tino. Fresh water fish, sea fish, sprats, dried fish and shellfish. When cooking, use the whole fish without discarding the head as it contains healthy oils. Again, a head dig it ama. वैदियम हेल्थी ऑयल्स ठीक है तीन में। दें आप इस कथा के बारे में बात करें न्यूट्रिशनल वैल्यू ऑफ फिश प्रोटीन। इट इस ऑफ हाई बायोलॉजिकल वैल्यू, रिच इन लाइसिन एंड मेथियोनिन। इट इस हाईली डाइजेस्टेबल। एक इधर प्रोसेसिंग क्रम में टिका तीनों। इका कमाए कैनिंग एंड ब्रोइलिंग। इडे may change the biological value. It was a sun drying, it should affect it. It got stuff like dried fish. It was a good effect. It was a nutritive value. Fish is one of the best sources of iodine. It was a good calcium content. It was a fish full of good value. It was a small fish full of calcium. It was a good value. Fish oils contain omega-3, polyunsaturated fatty acids, uh, EPA, DHA, and it contributes in lowering the plasma TAG, VLDL, and LDL levels. It minimizes atheromatous, uh, atheromatous changes in the arteries. Nothing, uh, atherosclerotic plaques, had anything? Now they know. 
one gram of EPA and DHA uh, is equal to five grams of cod liver oil, 250 to 450 grams of crab, four, 150 grams of killer valla, 50 to 100 grams of furulla. So these fish contain a very rich source of EPA and DHA, but the most concentrated form is cod liver oil. Powder made from parts of fish, skeletal parts. fish protein concentrates. fish skeleton very rich in calcium. It is fat-free, odorless, almost tasteless fish flour production. Fish protein concentrates. Now fish preserve can keep at salting. Coagulation of the fish proteins and is influenced by the quality of salt. And iron. The metamai the anatomy of an egg. It consists of a yolk, an egg white, a shell membrane, tau shell lakak, tau acre me egg white uda putikorosakatiano, air cell lega. Nutritive value of baluam, egg protein has the highest quality. That means it is richest in all of the essential amino acids. Then apikatagarnone are amino acids co again, it got a amino acids co again, hammer amino acid diagma, a avash level legata. Uh, eggs will attain this atama, apikian, evola, they are a high quality protein killer. Now, egg white is a pure source of proteins. Egg yolk, okay, it is rich in lysine and leucine. It is rich in vitamin D, vitamin B2, riboflavin, vitamin B12, and biotin. Vitamin A, folate, choline, phosphorus, and selenium. Egg yolk is a good source of iron, but the availability is low. Contains important antioxidants. Then up here, vegetables, fruits, and starchy foods. Uh, Patangamu leafy vegetables, they consist of high moisture. Again, uh, uh, total content is 75 to 80% water. Fair sources of riboflavin, again, vitamin B2. Protein, 1 to 4 milligrams per 100 grams. Uh, 1 to 4 milligrams will be good in meat, fish, and eggs and other sources of food. Amaranth leaves are the high, the source of high quality protein, which is rich in lysine, which can supplement deficiency in cereal proteins. High fiber content. Some leafy vegetables contain high amounts of mucilage. A mucilage can be soluble fiber. For example, spinach, nibiti, hibiscus, roselva leaves are fiber content. For non-protein nitrogen, it is non-protein Dark green. Leafy vegetables are rich in beta carotene, ascorbic acid, riboflavin, vitamin K, and folic acid. Leaf adds calcium, 25 to 500 milligrams per 100 grams, and iron, 1 to 25 milligrams per 100 grams to the diet. It has got leaves calcium, and iron, and high iron leaves kilotheno, uh, manioc, gotu kola, natha sentinella, cassiasa, beet kola. Men the may kola jati vara vila. Iron content is good. Ready. Energy is 10 to 50 kilocalories per 100 grams. Uh, heating of green leaves reduces the vitamin C content. Now, we have to say that vitamin C can heat the heat. We have to heat the heat inactivate. And we have to say that the constituent is 30 to 80 percent. Manioc leaves are high in uh, cyanate, right? CN minus. Uh, cyanide. CN minus. Itakota, it is cut into shreds and allowed to stand. the bound cyanide becomes free HCN and evaporates during cooking. The iron content in leaves is high before plant flowers. Flowers contain high non protein nitrogen. Then, up samara cut diet, take a flowers gunna. Then, the hundred crushing samara then. Flowers summoning ahara kudir gunna. It got a acre high in non protein nitrogen, 47%. The pale flowers contain small amounts of beta carotene. Uh, root vegetables got them. Root vegetables are carbohydrate containing and they contain less than 10% of uh, and cannot add significant amount of energy. It got a root vegetables will add uh, carbohydrates, nothing is a significant amount of energy will kill a gunna plant. They are high in non-protein nitrogen, 61%. See it, hate gak, non-protein nitrogen, root vegetables will be Some roots are very rich in beta-carotene. Example, carrots. 
high beta carotene absorption from boiled and mashed carrots e kiyanne api den carrot eke beta carotene praman wedi karanna nan api carrots boil karala mash karapawama eke absorption eka apita wedi karanna puluwam now beta carotene kiyala kiyanne eka antioxidant ekak saha anti carcinogenic substance ekak fruit vegetables uh, fruit vegetables kiyanne kiyanne tomatoes nathan chilies wage dewal right uh so they are high in non protein nitrogen see it upon us hatak non protein nitrogen you know uh, pods contain 2.1% protein in fresh weight it can be gram c ya gatta ma fruit vegetable ekka it in 2.1% protein and the 2.1 grams protein the ripe tomato is rich in carotene the pods of okra uh, not the lady's fingers are mucilaginous when boiled chilies are rich in vitamin c uh ओक्रा किलकियाने लेडीज फिंगर्स मत नेवे ओक्रा किलकियाने और कुमारे ओक्रा किलकियाने और म्यूसिलिजिनस वेजिटेबल लगा चिलीज आर रिच इन विटामिन सी एंड कैरोटीन ड्राइंग द फ्रूट रिड्यूसेस इन इट्स विटामिन सी कंटेंट नेवर द आई विटामिन सी हीट ले बाल बिन मेक अ एविडेंस हैगा चिलीज कंटेन वाटर इन सॉल्युबल कैप्सेसिन इट इज अ वेरी पावरफुल इरिटेंट which will be split to the skin and the intestinal mucous membrane pumpkins and gourds they contain more than 90% of water and they do not provide any significant nutrient and in insignificant amounts yellow pumpkins are rich in beta carotene increase the yellow of fruit increase the content of beta carotene let the cutter then pumpkins and gourds will look who sign nutritional significant and namut kaha part pumpkins will na tieno they are rich in beta carotene eto kota metena di sandan kala tieno पैर में पालतूरे ना तं फ्रूट्टे के येलो कहाँ पे है आनुवा एक इंटेंसिटी आनुवा एक इंटेंसिटी के वैरी बनवाई दियो ना जो कि बीट कैरेटिन कंटेंट का वैरी बनो पेल फ्रूट्स वाले ना बीट कैरेटिन वैरी है ना फ्रूट्स इन फ्रूट्स स्टार्च चीज़ इन प्रेजेंट इन ऑल फ्रूट्स दें गत्ता में दें � thanks da starch converts to simple sugars it's going to ripening process again at the api palaturag idena wagila kiyanne eke starch content ekak convert wenawa eke athuli thiyena enzymes wolin ma simple sugars walta then godak fruits sweet taste ekak denawa for example a sweet taste ekata hamu wenne sucrose glucose fructose wage simple sugars welling they are high in vitamin c and api vitamin c eka adu wenawa when the fruit is exposed to atmospheric oxygen eken api palatura kapala निकांग एनवायरनमेंट के तीव्र बामा एक ऑक्सीजन ने कत्ते कर रिएक्ट कर ला विटामिन सी प्रमाणे आडू बनो। The vitamins rich in Sri Lankan fruit, then nelly, guava, cashew वाके देवल, cashew fruit वाके देवल, vitamin C वाले गुड़ाक, rich. Most fruits contain small amount of beta carotene. Dark green, deep yellow, and orange fruits are high in beta carotene and vitamin C. उदाहरण वाशे, mango, amber, papaw, apple. And cashew fruit. Then papaw वाला तो ये ना में proteolytic enzyme में गाक. एक याने एक ही हमा वाला दें अभी papaw use करना for tenderizing meat. ये तो कोटा papaw वाला तो ये ना एक अमें आहार तो ये ना ने papaw वाला skin निके. तो ये ना वा proteolytic enzyme में गाक. ये तो कोटे एक अमीट उत्ते का अभी mix करला और तो पुआ में meat टेकर tenderize बनो. Must tenderize बनो. तब soft बनो. एक रहेतु तमाय एक कैन ब्रेक डाउन आर कॉलेजन टिकाई मासूल प्रोटीन टिकाई खालाने बोलो निश्चित तमाय टेंडराइजेशन प्रोसेस के बिन्ने दूर पैपाओ वाला ए प्रोटीलिटिक एंजाइम्स टिकाई तीनों। If you eat large amounts of pepper, it could cause carotinemia. ये दूर कैरोटिनीमिया के लिए क्या ने जॉन डिस ने वे कैरोटिनीमिया के लिए क्या ने हमा� Sclera of the eyes with kaha paata veno and eka important distinction hai. Carotinemia ke anne yellow discoloration of skin but not the sclera of skin and John sclera of eyes and John discolor ke anne yellow discoloration of only the skin. Sclera of the eyes is white clear. Citrus fruits are commonly grown in Sri Lanka. Example, sweet orange, lime, lemon, mandarin, grapefruit contain high amounts of vitamin C. They are rich in soluble and insoluble fibers. Example, pectin. Citrus fruit, carrots, pectin in the diet. Uh, increase activity of microsomal mixed function oxidase system. If you have pectin, you can increase the activity of the microsomal mixed function oxidase system. Uh, 
uh, which catalyzes the oxidation of drug substrates, steroid and thyroid hormones. So there make a make a function like a microsomal mixed function oxidase system make a function like a make catalysis of uh, oxidation of drug substances and steroid and thyroid hormones. Fruits contain a high organic acid content. It could oxalic acid and citric acid wagi deval api uh as it may fruits will a dakin hambuna. Namut fruits will organic acid from madi, aka acidemia acidosis at the garantana, fruits will acid snap. Banana contains uh, banana is carbohydrate rich, little protein and fat containing useful source of energy. Right? Are then up you know starch and starchy roots filter. Tubers and roots, large amounts of starch containing crops. 20% of more of them are carbohydrates. They are very poor in proteins, minerals and vitamins. Fats, cannot substitute for rice, but you can give it with rice to supplement energy. Manioc, potato, sweet potato, yam, jackfruit and breadfruit. Manioc contains cyogenic, cyanogenic glucosides, linamarin, which is present in all parts of the plant. It's got a linamarin kala mai kyanne. Uh cyanogenic glucosides to kai linamarin kila kyanne and cyanogen uh, cy cyanide containing compounds and they are present in all parts of the plant. A kyanne. Roots to kai kola to kai api udakatagara kola vala tiano in isatam api kola shreds vala to kapala 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 aka api free standing tiela can a nikang api flat tanaka tiela aka evaporate pin api tiano. Then glinomerase enzyme make a present in the plant. Manioc plant take him a linamerase enzyme at the end of the day. It liberates free uh, hydrogen cyanide from the glucoside. 50 to 60 percent cyanide can kill an adult. It got a manioc contains the sweet kind, contains 70 milligrams of cyanide per kilogram. It got a raw manioc adult can a cab with an adult. Marina Bulong. In this time, I manioc. We are like on it. एक उइला आप एक ने लिड देगा ना तो आप एक उयाद्दी आप एक एक्सपोज करनो ऐ ऐ करे तो कुछ तमें आप एक दिन ने फ्री हाइड्रोजन साइनाइट के एवेपरेट बनना पटेटो इस हाई आता हुआ में रॉ मैनियोक इस हाई इन कैल्शियम टू प्लस एंड इट इस लो इन प्रोटीन पटेटो इस हाई इन पोटैशियम एंड विटामिन सी इट इस हाई स but deficient in sulfur containing amino acids such as methionine, cysteine, homocysteine, and taurine. Low amounts of protein but high biological value. Then sweet potato is high in valine, high in carotene in the yellow types, high in vitamin C and thiamine. Sago kilakin is sau. It is high in starch and almost contains no protein, 0% protein. Then up you know oil seeds and nuts welter. Seeds are crop grown mainly for oil. Seed oil or vegetable oil are obtained from the seed endosperm. Example coconut, sesame, corn, palm oil, sunflower, mustard, canola. Then may may seeds willing thamay apit hamway ne a seed oil. Coconut, sesame, corn, palm oil, sunflower, mustard, canola. You can also speak more than the other thing, for example, coconut or mustard or mustard seeds, a batter. Now, if you have sunflower, you can use the product of the product of the product of the oil killer because they are seed oils and the main function is to produce oil. Coconut anatomy is not the same as the epidermis. The epidermis is not the same as the mesocarp, the husk, the epidermis. This is the same as the endocarp. शेल लेके दिए ना, राइट? इड पासे एक ऐतरे दिए ना टेस्ट आएगा, दें टेस्ट आएगा ऐतुलिंग दिए ना पोल्टिकर, एक अर्थात हमें क्या ना भी एंडोस्पर्म ना तं कर्नल एंड मीट, इड पासे दिए ना ऐतुले दी कैविटी का, एक इस हमें दिए ने पोल बातूरा, दें 100 ग्राम्स ऑफ क्रोकनट, ऐतर में क्यों बोलूँ क्रोकनट इस नॉट द गोड़ाक वैरी 33 ग्राम्स ऑफ 100 ग्राम्स तानी करें में फैट अनित्त के को होंदा फैट बार गये ने वे इट इस सैचुरेटेड फैट इधर ए सी इट आसु है एक ने तीस ग्राम तीस तो नहीं सी इट आसु नामे आक में सैचुरेटेड फैट इधर ए सैचुरेटेड फैट सिक्ता में लॉरिक एंड पैल्माइटिक एसिड मॉडरेट मॉडरेट कंटेंट 
and the proteins value na 3 grams with retheno 100 grams welter but it is rich in lysine and tryptophan matha kainang cereals valadi rice based diets valadi they are deficient in three main amino acids ltt lysine threonine and tryptophan right micronutrients with regard to manganese copper iron phosphorus selenium and zinc oil seeds will nutrition gatama they are energy dense foods contain sesame seeds and provide 600 kilocalories per 100 grams proteins 14 to 32 per 100 grams carbohydrates 1 to 34 grams per 100 grams most of the energy provides as fat it is rich in monounsaturated fatty acids and polyunsaturated fatty acids high in alpha linolenic acid which is an n3 omega 3 fatty acid and uh, linoleic acid which is an omega 6 fatty acid body can make all fatty acids from these two fatty acids any sa thamai api kiyanne o walta essential fatty acids kiyala api anivaryen meka diet ekin ganna one etukota oil seeds are very rich in these uh, essential fatty acids a uh, linoleic acid is rich in arachidonic acid which converts to docosapentaenoic acid or dpa alpha linolenic acid converts to icosapentaenoic acid epa which then converts to dha then dpa sambandha metana podi visarak thiyena it is a 22 by 25 fatty acid and it is a polyunsaturated fatty acid n6 dpa n3 dpa varga dekak thiyena it is needed for healthy inflammation process new blood vessel formation and geogenesis ke lape ekata thiyena healthy platelet aggregation then dh ekana kata karamu it is an omega 3 uh, fatty acid and it is a primary structural component of the human brain cerebral cortex skin and retina mulke sources tamai alpha linolenic acid and maternal milk most abundant omega 3 fatty acids are present in the brain and the retina it modulates carrier mediated transport of choline glycine and taurine the dha deficiency causes cognitive decline again a docosahexaenoic acid well a deficiency ekak thiyena theka cognitive decline nattang mental functions adu wenne hetuwak wenawa nuts dry fruits with one or two seeds the ovary wall becomes very hard and seeds remain attached or fused with the ovary etakota api gattama nuts kiyanne dry fruit ekak etakota api danna ovary ekak thamai thiyenne mather api danna one me female ekenne plant female reproductive organ ekake ovary ekak athule thamai thiyenne ovary ekak athule thamai seed ekak hadenne etakota seed ekak fuse wenawa ovary ekata ekka then meker udaharana question api danna me hazelnuts nattam chestnuts wage dewal they have a hard outer shell eke athule thamai thiyenne um the athule thamai thiyenne the seed api consume karana seed ekak ethura examples widi gattama cashew nuts pecan nuts hazelnuts chestnuts pistachio walnuts and brazil nuts then metanadi api peanuts gena katha karana then peanuts is a legume it is not a nut හැබැයි ඒක nutritional value එක හරියටම නැත්තක් වගේ it is rich in essential nutrients and uh, 570 kilo calories per 100 grams b vitamins and vitamin e it contains manganese magnesium phosphorus and dietary fiber uh, 25 out of 100 grams is protein you can see it a 25 ak peanuts wala protein uh, nut nutrition api poduwen nuts wala nutrition ek gathama a monounsaturated fatty acids and polyunsaturated fatty acids c at 49 ak sa 74 ak athara thiyenawa total fat ekak ida amathara 9 to 20% is protein it is a good source of dietary fiber b vitamins with folate uh, contains vitamin e and minerals such as calcium iron zinc potassium magnesium selenium manganese and copper It is rich in antioxidant compounds such as flavonoids and resveratrol and plant sterols. Nutritional values of some seeds got them. Then make it a good example. So now, if you have to look at it, almonds are there. No proteins, calcium, vitamin E. Brazil nuts are there. No fiber and selenium. Cashews are there. No non-heme plant, iron, and low glycemic index. Low glycemic index. What is it? Insulin. Pramanya. Good luck. Very well. Now, if 
कैमोमा सो दिस इज इन कंपेरिजन टू ग्लूकोज एक कंपेयर करना ग्लूकोज कंपेयर कर ला कैशोनाट्स कंपेयर कर ला राइट इधर ग्लूकोज वाले सापेक्ष व इंसुलिन राइज करता है आप क्या नहीं ग्लाइसिमिक इंडेक्स के ला ये तो कोई मेरे वाले लो ग्लाइसिमिक इंडेक्स के आने ग्लूकोज तरह इंसुलिन लेवल लेके वैरी करना है चेस्ट नट्स लो लो ग्लाइसिमिक इंडेक्स फाइबर एंड विटामिन सी टू टू फोर सर्विंग्स ऑफ नट्स आर रेकमेंडेड डेली इट इस लो इन सोडियम कंटेंस पोटेशियम एंड कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स दें रॉन रोस्टेड नट्स आदर पोलियन सत्य नो रोस्टिंग रिड्यूसेस द वाटर कंटेंट ऑफ नट्स नॉट वाटर नट्स इट आल्सो रिड्यूसेस द कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ सेवरल बी ग्रुप विटामिन्स बिकॉज़ दे आर नॉट हीट स्टेबल सो हीट स्टेबल नथी बी विटामिन्स टिकर अडवेनो हेल्थ बेनिफिट्स ऑफ नट्स रिड्यूसेस द रिस्क ऑफ हार्ट डिजीज बाय 30 टू 50% reduces the risk of death from heart disease by 20% healthy monounsaturated fatty acids and polyunsaturated fatty acids it contains a lower proportion of saturated fatty acids prevents heart disease uh, promotes uh, polyunsaturated fatty acids and monounsaturated fatty acids that help regulate blood cholesterol fiber and plant sterols that help reduce cholesterol reabsorption from the gut Arginine produces nitric oxide which keeps blood vessels elastic and reduces the risk of atherosclerosis. Tava cardioprotective effects vage thiyena. Then eka gathama antioxidant vitamins and minerals. Example vitamin E, copper, manganese, selenium, zinc, flavonoids and resveratrol kiyana compounds wali antioxidant nature ga denawa. Eto kore eba free radicals combat karanna support karana. Sodium ada karala potassium vari karana. So this helps maintain a healthy blood pressure. Nuts in general improves cholesterol levels. Other health benefits: reduces the risk of gallstones, reducing age-related macular degeneration, maintaining bone health, slowing brain aging, reducing cancer risk. Nuts and all type two diabetes, preventing effect of diabetes type two. High monounsaturated fatty acids and polyunsaturated fatty fatty acid levels enhance insulin sensitivity. एक यानी हाई मूफाज एंड पूफा लेवल्स इंसुलिन सेंसिटिविटी एक वैडी करना एक यानी इंसुलिन पोडक एक यानी इंसुलिन सेंसिटिविटी क्या अन्य इंसुलिन टिकाक तीब बात एक यानी अंगरे सेंसिटिव एक यानी एक रिस्पांस के क्विक ना एक यानी अनित पैट तो दमा इंसुलिन रेजिस्टेंस इंसुलिन रेजिस्टेंस के लिए क्या सेम इफेक्ट गण गोडा इंसुलिन आवश्य बनो नॉर्मल प्रमाण में रोडा गोडा इंसुलिन आवश्य बनो ये तो कर नट्स वेलिंग देने मूफ एंड पूफा वेलिंग नियमित प्रमाण में इंसुलिन तीब बा में एक सेंसिटिविटी के वैडी निशा एक क्रिया एक क्रियाकारित्व होता है। Reduces the overall glycemic index, slows carbohydrate digestion and reduces blood glucose levels. It reduces metabolic syndrome. The metabolic syndrome क्या नहीं मुकाद्दे? में न में पाहिंग में फीचर्स पाहिंग विस्तृत ओबेसिटी, इंसुलिन रेजिस्टेंस, हाइपरटेंशन, हाई ट्राइग्लिसराइड्स इन विस्तृत ओबेसिटी वाले तुनक एक के में पेशेंट के लिए संपूर्ण नुनाना एक आप इक्यना मेटाबॉलिक सिं Nuts reduce the risk of obesity by making you feel fuller. That controls the appetite. Fat is trapped in undigested fibrous structures of the nut and passes out of the body. Nut allergies: one or more of tree nuts, not them peanuts only, not them both tree nuts and peanuts. If you go to nut allergies, can you me? Loki baat hai the thei na common prashne yaak. If you go to logo da karte hai peanuts world allergy. Kya na peanut oil use karbo ham? Ego lang ge anaphylaxis ati vela. एगोलांग में एक एक इम्यून रिस्पॉन्स इस बल्ट एगोलांग बाज नहीं बनाओ विच इज़ वाई एगोलांग कैरी दे नीड टू हैव एन एपीपेन एपीनेफ्रिन गान नोने इन्फ्लेमेटरी नतंग एलर्जिक रिएक्शन का नवतान 